November. It is October the 31st. Um, excuse the croaky voice. I, it's half term. I am full of cold, basically. Well, it, it's not cold so much anymore. Like, I've got rid of the snotty nose and all that lot. But my voice is a little bit, I'm a bit croaky and a bit coughy and yeah. Today's video, I'm going to show you how you should and why you should wait until Halloween, the day of Halloween, to get all your Halloween stuff. Kind of for next year because Halloween is nearly over and I don't know about you but like the lot of my stuff and decorations and stuff within the house are Halloween related, not necessarily just fall related. So they probably will be going away in the next few days. Which is another reason why I kind of begrudge paying full price or a lot for some decorations or some fancy dress outfits or some... <laughs> Um, so today we are heading out, it is October the 31st, it is just after 9 o'clock, we have made it, it needs to be early, you have to get out there early, um, I've already had an email from Asda saying the fancy dress outfits are, I don't know if it was half price but it was, there was quite a lot off, um, I've asked the kids to check on their, what fancy dress outfits they would like, half a chosen one for £4, it should have been £8 or £6, I can't remember which, um, obviously we have to see that it's still in store, but we've got to go to Asda. I'm heading to Wilco's, which is where I got all my last year's. Sorry. I got all last year's stuff in the sale for this year. Um, I'll put a tag up there. I'm not showing which corner. It's last year's Halloween haul from Wilco's. Um, so we'll see what else is in there. I will also be heading across to a few other little bargain stores, B&M, Home Bargain, see what they've got in there. But there are the four shops that I intend to go to today to show you why you should wait until Halloween to buy your stuff for next year, I suppose. Or today, if you wanted it for today. But yeah, it's, um... It's probably my favourite sale because like this year I got the box out and it was like, it was like Christmas. Like literally we just buy it, I'll buy it today. Um, maybe keep a few things out, the kids will probably wear the fancy dress, well they will wear the fancy dress outfits tonight. But I'll get the box out next year and it'll be like Christmas. That's what it was like this year, I was like oh you've got a t-shirt for the Halloween disco already and I don't need to go to Asda and pay full price. So we are heading out right now to come along and see what you can bag. If you're quick, this will be going up today, so there might not be as much left by the time you do see this and go out, but they don't just clear things away straight away. It's probably gonna be out all day today and all day tomorrow, so you might be lucky. Ghostbusters, no, but that's cool. So just that there, what's that one? So they are about half price, to be fair. What? Oh, there's like a bride half hair. Oh, I don't know if they'll have your, whoops. I don't think they'll have your size. Look, There's the spider witch. The spider witch. Or uh, um, like superhero witch, I suppose. There's a prom, is that a prom queen? Halloween queen. <laughs> Zach's going for Ghostbusters at his act, pretty much because that's all they've got left. Have is going for uh, like a kind of princess witch, I think that is. Don't you, Harper? I would, but not that. Can I have that for next year? It's like a little black dress. That's what Papa got. <laughs> I'm going to get that one instead, all right, because that's like a jumper and bottoms, tracksuit bottoms. So hold that one instead. And we'll put that dress back, okay? So none of the decorations or anything here in Asda are half price. But what is that? It's a bed. It's a parrot. But we got their outfits, so uh, all's good here. So Wilkers don't actually have much, but they do have money off there. This is what we got last year. We got these last year, didn't we? The fancy that dress outfits, the they're cool. I like them. I mean, I don't know if that's where it all was, but they've got like barely anything. So we're just in Poundland now, and I have to say these are the best Halloween accessories I have ever seen. We got body parts. Brains, doll parts. doll parts. Oh my gosh, these are so real. <laughs> I've, I've had and, some to and they're a quid. Look at that. Egg. Look how gross they look. Oh, uh, but they look so awesome and so gross at the same time. So there we have it. We got loads. Loads of Halloween stuff for like half price pretty much so this i picked up for her for next year 
um, was £4 discounted in Asda because I saw a couple of children this year at the Halloween party and I thought it was ideal. It's like a jogging outfit type thing, a jogging bottoms and full length and it's thick and it's nice and it was only four quid. So I picked that up for Harper for next year. These are the two Halloween outfits and I know Harper's got seven to eight but they didn't have a smaller size. I'm hoping that with some clothes underneath it will fit all right. Um, she's got a witch that again was like four pound and Zach has gone for Ghostbusters which was eight pound. I picked up this for Walt which I cannot wait to see if it fits him. Um, it says it was four ninety nine, but it was three ninety nine if I remember off two ninety nine. It was definitely discounted that. That was from B and M. Um, these and Wilco's did not disappoint again. Everything here, I think, apart from that, perhaps I think that was Poundland is Wilco's. Everything was half priced. So we've got um, a trick or treat hand for Zach, haven't we? We've got you a witch's broom. We've got some lantern lights. They were £2.50. Harper's got her little witch um, face paints. We found them after we'd picked up these, but they were like 50p, weren't they? So yeah. we also that got a glow in the dark. dark. Yeah, a glow in the dark one. And this is the hat where you have to put your makeup on. And there's the black makeup on that. I like purple. <laughs> We also picked up a light up um, sign, trick or treat sign. <laughs> we got some bats to hang from the window, again half price. So a garland, a glitter skull garland. And we picked up two of these light up candles, which I thought was quite cool. They were from Poundland. So, so we got the coloured hairspray from Poundland and we got the two light up candles from Poundland. So although Poundland and B&M, B&M technically did have a few things discounted, not a lot, because they didn't really have a lot left. Um, and Poundland's Poundland, like <laughs> really it's Pound. Asda and Wilco's both have their sales on today, um, specifically fancy dress sales with Asda. Asda, as you saw, didn't really have much on sale as far as decorations were concerned or accessories. Wilco's, they're sneaky monkeys, don't actually advertise um, the fact that everything's half price. We just went to the counter with this which is broom and it was half price and i thought hey up hey up i reckon that everything is pretty much half price so i took everything that we wanted to the counter oh it's got my seat so i pretty much got everything that i wanted took everything to the counter and said like is everything half price put it through everything was half price barring a pair of gloves that were like two quid but as i mentioned earlier this is exactly why you should wait or at least start stocking up like we are now um for future halloweens on halloween granted i'll only put my candles up tonight and then set them down tomorrow but they're going in my box look here's my halloween box i actually have a box of halloween stuff so that's all need to go up um but yeah just add to it and it's half price i've got that school garland that was a quid that yeah i'll put up tonight but i'll also put up next year and probably the year after that and so now we are going to be prepping for halloween um i have half his face to paint i have um her hair to spray i asked zach if he wanted colored hairspray or they had she had colored gel in poundland actually and he was like Ew. um he's a little bit freaked out about halloween so i think that's why he was happy to go as a ghostbuster rather than like anything really dramatic and really scary he's not the biggest fan of scared stuff and he don't particularly want to answer the door to trick-or-treaters either bless him but he'll happily go out so we'll go out tonight um dressed in what we've got face all done up no doubt um but yeah the rest of today is going to consist of face painting tidying up decorating um and then tonight we will go trick-or-treating and here is the finishing touch She's all kitted up. Can, I, she has got a Liverpool top on under there, but it's the only green thing that I, she owns. I that got owns. lipstick. Black lipstick. We've got face paint. The face paint was the Wilco's one, but wasn't it? It's, it's the makeup lipstick. Yeah, it's the makeup lipstick. It's not proper black lipstick. Well, you're in your ass the dress. Your half price has the dress, aren't you? You've got your half price Wilco broom. And Zach's somewhere in there, but and he's already hat. not let me have, oh yeah, and green hair, and the green hair as well. Ow. That was
that was pound pound shop i think the green spray sacks in there at the minute he's had a paddy he won't let me take a picture of him but he's in his ghostbuster outfit and he, he looks cool as well so we are going to go trick-or-treating now aren't we yeah We got a lolly pizza from the pizza shop. shop. <laughs> but this gives us a lolly because we got first up for pizza. <laughs> well, technically and not. Me. <laughs> so it's the morning after the night before. The kids already want to eat their candy. Look how much they got. She got a massive bag. Um, and Zach yeah. got. Yeah. Look how much Zach's got. Look at that. It's massive. They got tons yesterday. No, to be fair, I had to tell Harper because she was going in. You either get children who get one or you get children who get a massive handful. There's never the in between, is there? And I had to tell Harper a few times. I was like, you're not in Disney, Harper. <laughs> you can't just take a massive handful. Um, but yeah, it's the morning after the night before and it's time to pack up. I've got my um, Halloween box out again. But like I mentioned yesterday, this is why I kind of begrudge paying full price for things because it goes away pretty much the day after and then Christmas is upon us before we even know it. So yeah, I'm just packing everything away right now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope it's given you an insight. I hope you managed to go out before the sales stop. There'll be a few places. Last year we went to Sainsbury's and got a few um, Halloween t-shirts. They were half price, like £2.25 or something like that. So as I'm passing a few places in the next couple of days, I am going to pop in. I do need to go to Aldi as well and do my special buys for this week. So I will see. Aldi probably won't. But Sainsbury's is quite close to Aldi. So I'll probably pop in there. I did have a look online. But again, you need to specifically go into store. Because like Wilco's yesterday, they don't advertise it. Although Wilco's did advertise up to 50% off online. There was no signs with no discounts whatsoever in store. So you do need to go in to see. So I hope you get to pick up a few little things just to put in your box for next year. As I say, come next year, it'll be like Christmas. And yeah, I will hopefully next year have everything up a little bit earlier than this, but things have been a little bit crazy around here. And I only got my Halloween box down, I think probably about a week and a half ago. So it's not been up that long, which is a shame because I love fall and I love the colors and I love, decorations and the pumpkins and the candles and all that so next year i will get them up a little bit earlier but thanks for watching feel free to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video i'm still a little bit quirky so i'm sorry about that and um, click the red button to subscribe if you haven't already and we shall see you again really soon bye guys